My diagnosis was I had a 100% block in my right artery, two other arteries at 70%. I had a left bundled block, a heart murmur. I had an enlarged heart with leaky valves and scar cytosis of the right side of my heart muscle. I would just sit there clutching my, you know, my fists and holding myself to him, please stop, stop, it's hurting. When I made the change from your standard American diet to a whole food plant-based diet, I was a carnivore that ate a lot of meat. I was a person who loved dairy. Um, cheese was my number one. And oil. My idea of the perfect pizza was double cheese, double meat, loaded, okay? Because I worked out, so I always thought, hey, I just keep working out and I'll be okay, I'll balance everything. Uh, and I le learned later that you cannot work a bad diet. Today, it's only fruits, vegetables, beans, and whole grains. But here's the thing. When you spend 55 years eating the way I did, I still miss it. I'm not denying. I still think about the corned beef sandwiches and the pizza and, and the steak. I mean, I, I think about it. But as soon as I think about it, I remember every moment of what I felt like in front of that gurney, hyperventilating because I was scared, and then I got a miracle. Okay, so that, that keeps me grounded all the time. Because, you know, when you talk to people, they're like, oh, this is too tough, this is too tough. You know what's too tough? Going through bypass surgery, okay? Knowing that if you go back and have the bypass surgery and you go back to eating what you're eating, there's a pretty good chance 10 years ago, you'll get to have it again. Today, I've lost 70 pounds, and I, um, I work out. I, work, I love working, I always loved working out, so I get to continue to work out. I work out in the morning, and I do a 15-minute walk-run, and that's followed by 45 minutes of, of weightlifting. I, I don't do any heavy weights. It's real more core work, a lot of pull-ups, a lot of push-ups, a lot of chin-ups. And uh, then I got into, about a year and a half ago, something called hot vinyasa yoga. And, you know, I, I, I just love it. So it's funny because the first time I went in there, um, I just got in, I didn't know the flow. I just said, hey, it's kind of warm in here. And well, it's got good music. It's a nice warm place. It's a good visual. So, uh, but I had no idea how to flow. So over the last, eh, it took me about a year to figure out the flow. And what's kind of awesome about the, uh, the hot vinyasa is, you know, it allows me to finish my workout, get the greatest stretch of my life, appreciate the world I live in, I, I pray for things, you know. I, I think of my mom, I think of my nana, I thank God for my wife. I ask the Lord for, you know, to let my dog live longer without pain. I pray for my kids, and now I pray for PBNSG, the organization we built, that uh, people find the light and health. You know, that's, that's really what it's about, and that I have the strength every day to spread the word as far and wide as possible. Hey, welcome everybody. We are all in for a real treat today. My name is Paul Chatlin, and I am the founder of the Plant-Based Nutrition Support Group called PBNSG. We are a nonprofit group established in 2014. We're dedicated to evidence-based education and advocacy of whole food. For anybody out there that's considering this, first, Read a few books, learn about it, watch a DVD, see how it's changed other people's lives. Anybody who is plant curious, give it a try. If you had to do something and your life was dependent on it, you do it. Well, your life is dependent on it. You go 60 days, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose in 60 days 15 to 20 pounds as long as you're staying whole food plant-based your levels will drop. Whatever your cholesterol numbers are, your A1C numbers are, your weight, everything's gonna drop. Your taste buds will change, which will reinforce you continuing doing this. So I say a 60 day challenge to the world. Okay, 60 days. I also would like to say to people, okay, so let's say you go whole food plant-based and it works for you, give back. 
do something to give back. I can't say I was always a taker, but I was never the best giver. I will tell you this from the bottom of my heart. I wake up every day hoping to give to somebody to make a world of difference to that person. And as the organization grows, it just makes me so proud, not, of, not only of all the volunteers we have. You know, when I see my son and he's at one of our events, he always says, you got the greatest, nicest volunteers I've ever known. And I look at him and I said, you're right. So I say to everybody out there, give back. You will feel great about it when you can look at somebody and give a suggestion that makes a difference in their life. It's, it's more than making a deposit of money at the bank. You're making a deposit with your soul. And, and that's what my push would be to anybody. First, understand what it's like to be that plant-based person. And then don't rest on it. Give back.